Hi guys, welcome to the shortest video I've ever made, I think. This is a, just an add-on to the previous video with the thermal camera, the macro lens thermal microscope, as I called it, and I think I'm right. So what I've done is here, I've taken a bit of Vero board, strip board, I've soldered a couple of pieces of wire onto it, and I've shorted them at the other end. And what I want to do now is see whether we can see and at what current we can first see where the short is. So I'm going to put some current into here on my bench power supply and I'm going to look at it with the thermal camera and see if I can determine which tracks are carrying the current. So I'll just put this here, I'll put the other camera where you can see the power supply. Then let's have a go. I've put the power supply where you can see it. So I'm going to inject into here 0.8 of a volt which is something we would typically use when tracing on a GPU. I'll now turn the current all the way down. It'll probably stop even the voltage, yeah? And I'll connect it to my bit of strip board, which is here. So we're now injecting 0.8 of a volt, but with zero current. You see, it's gone to zero. Let's have a look. So I'll get this down close. We'll just focus on the strip board. And there you can see our piece of strip board. I think you can just about see the holes. I'm going to focus there, okay. So you can see our bit of strip board here. Now let's inject a little bit of current. So we'll just give it a small amount of current. Let's see what can we give it? Too much. 300 milliamps. And at 300 milliamps, I think if we have like, yeah, I think you'll be able to see where the short is. I think you'll be able to see two tracks there. One near the edge and one further in. Yeah, 300 milliamps. So let's go up to say, well, 0.9 of an amp. And now I'm sure you can clearly see it. Yeah, you see the first track there glowing and the second track there glowing. So we can very easily now follow with our thermal camera where the trace goes to. And you'll see this end is where the short is. Yeah, see it there and there. So there you go, guys. We can very clearly with this thermal camera follow shorted tracks with a low current to see where the short is, yeah? And I think that's very impressive. I'm sure we can do it at much lower current. So let's uh, set it down to something very low. Let's find the right knob. How little current can we put into this? Now we're down to like 100 milliamps, yeah? The board will cool down quite quickly. Can we see where it is now? And I'd actually say, no, it's not particularly clear, I think, because we know where they are. But no, there's nothing there. There's nothing there at all. 100 milliamps, yeah? There's nothing to show up. Uh, let's go up to something like 200 milliamps. 250 milliamps, yeah? And nothing is really notably happening at the moment. Uh, nothing really happening at 250 milliamps. Let's go for a little bit more. 350 milliamps. Can we see anything yet? No, I don't really see anything happening yet. Let's go for a little bit more. 460 milliamps. Can we see now where the current is flowing? I don't think anything's notably obvious there. Maybe slightly on this edge. Let's go up a bit more. So that's 640 milliamps. And now, I think you can start, you can see them. Yeah, you see the two tracks, a lighter colour. That's where the current is flowing, yeah. Let's give it the sort of current we'd probably use normally in short finding. So let's say one amp. One amp is quite low for injection. And now you can see them. Can you see the two tracks? Very clearly, yeah? So at one amp, we can very clearly trace the short to where it is at this end of the board. Yeah. Look at that, guys. So... 
with this thermal camera, this is the uh, T2S Plus, the one I reviewed on the last video. I've demonstrated that we can actually very clearly see where the current is flowing down tracks on a board at a current certainly below one amp. Yeah. I'll just touch the very board now with my fingers. And I can tell you now, I cannot feel any difference in temperature on the board. And yet this thermal camera is clearly showing me, clearly showing me the tracks that are carrying the currents, even though I don't see it at all with my hand. Let's get a, a temperature probe and let's see the thermocouple. What does that tell us? Oh. Okay, so here is our temperature meter with a thermocouple, 27, 28.7. That's on the, one of the tracks that has carrying the current, 29. I'm moving away from it. Yeah. I'm over the other one now. And it's not telling us anything. But look, guys. Yeah. Look, that, my friends, is a game changer, I think. As soon as I get a chance to try this on something like a multi-layered PCB with a short, a GPU or motherboard, I will do. But I'm highly, I'm 100% sure this will do what we want it to do. Okay? This is the Infrared T2S Plus. I called it a thermal imaging microscope. And I stand by what I said. There you go, guys. That's got to be my shortest ever video. Just demonstrating one thing. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm so glad to have this thing. And I'm guessing a lot of you guys will agree. I'll see you all soon on the next Learning Electronics Repair video. Ciao for now, guys.